Dual PC streaming setups. One of the best ways to improve the production quality of your streams, but often intimidating to tackle. They're not as hard as you think, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up in under five minutes. Dual PC streaming setups are typically used to get the best gaming performance out of your gaming PC, especially if you're going for high frame rates while letting your streaming PC be the workhorse and do all the encoding for stream. For today's example, we're specifically going to be using Elgato's 4K60 Pro capture card, and this is the Mark II, the second generation of the capture card. Now for the demonstration, I'm going to be using a display port cable and an HDMI cable coming out of the gaming PC, and I specifically am using the HDMI cable that came with the Mark II capture card, so make sure you're using that one. So to start, we're gonna start with the gaming PC, and we're gonna look at it like it's a gaming console. To start, we're going to use the DisplayPort cable. Put the DisplayPort cable into your graphics card and then plug that into your monitor like you would normally. Then, take the HDMI cable, put that into your graphics card, and plug the other end into the 4K60 Pro. Windows should recognize that there are now two displays connected, and the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna right-click on your desktop. You're going to go to Display Settings and scroll down to the bottom where it shows the display settings. Make sure you click the drop down arrow box and show that it says duplicate this display, not extend. Next, right click on your desktop and click on the NVIDIA control panel. Move over to the left hand side where it says change resolution and then you're going to see two monitors open up within that box. The left one should be your monitor while the right one should be your capture card. You're going to click on the capture card and go down to the box below where it shows all the resolution choices. Scroll down to where it says PC and click on 1920 by 1080. This will allow you to open up the refresh rate on the right hand side and make sure you click down whatever refresh rate you were playing at. I personally play at 1080p 144 hertz. Now that we have the capture card seeing the display and it's also seeing the proper refresh rate the last part is the audio which is also really easy all you're going to do is click on the speaker at the bottom right corner click the up arrow box and find where it says Elgato if you don't see it immediately just restart your computer and then you should see it and that's it for the gaming PC that's all you're doing is now you've routed the video you've made sure you're playing at the proper refresh rate and you're also getting the audio sent out to the capture card. Next, we're going to focus on the streaming PC, which is also just as easy and it's really not overwhelming at all. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Elgato's website. Make sure you go to the capture section, scroll all the way to the bottom and download the 4K utility. This is the native software for the 4K60 Pro Mark II. Once that's installed, please make sure you restart your computer. It is incredibly important that after you install programs, you restart the computer so Windows can complete the installation. Now we're gonna open up the 4K capture utility and at the top right corner, you're going to click on the gear and click on the device tab. Now, personally, like I said, I record at 1080p 144 and change the EDID resolution to whatever your gaming PC is set to. I'm at 1080p 144, so you're just going to click OK. And then when you click Apply and OK, at the top now, you should see that it's saying 1080p 144. Now, the last part is getting the audio to run into your headphones from the gaming PC. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up OBS and add a new video capture device. Once the box is open, click the drop down box to find the 4K capture card and click OK. You can name it whatever you want and you should see it in there, but you're not going to hear it right away. The next step we have to do is in the little audio meters in OBS, you're gonna see a gear on the right hand side. Click on the gear, then click on advanced audio properties. A new box will open up and find where the 4K capture card is, and then go over to the drop down menu on the right hand side where it says audio monitoring and click on monitor only mute output. Now what's going to be happening is OBS is going to be playing the audio back in OBS on a real time basis. The last step to make sure that you can hear the audio from the gaming PC into your headphones is you're going to go up to your desktop audio and make sure that this is set to whatever your headphones are coming out as. So let's say you're using a wireless headset like the HyperX Cloud Flights, right? You're going to make sure that the desktop audio is set to your Cloud Flights, and then again at the bottom right corner, you're going to make sure that that speaker is also set to your Cloud Flights or whatever headphones you are using. Both of these have to match in order for you to be able to hear the capture card's game audio into your headphones. Now you're gonna be able to hear the gaming PC and the streaming PC in your headphones. And personally, I like to use my microphone on my streaming PC. I don't like to have any extra load going on the gaming PC if possible. And I use Discord for all of my in-game chat. So make sure that you have your streaming mic set up to the streaming PC. Of course, that way your stream can hear it and the people that are in Discord can also hear it. 
And that's everything. Now we've routed the video and the audio over to the streaming PC, as well as made sure that you've duplicated the settings and made sure that the capture card was seeing the proper refresh rate. And then over on the streaming PC, we installed the capture utility, changed the internal EDID of the capture card to the proper resolution so you wouldn't have conflicting inputs. And then we made sure that you could hear the gaming PC within OBS on the streaming PC. Hopefully that answered any questions you had for setting up your dual PC. If you have any more, please leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. It helps the channel grow. If you ever want to ask me any more direct questions, feel free to jump in the Discord. Link in the description down below. And I also stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pixelperfect every single night. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I think it did, Jaybird. I don't know, though. Oh! What? <laughs> Good thing you didn't go down there.